Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Neferia and today I'm going to talk about the renown system in Diablo 4. The renown system is a way uh, to earn rewards by exploring and completing various activities in the different uh, regions of Sanctuary. In this video I'm going to explain how the renown system works, what are the rewards you can get and how to earn renown points efficiently. So without further ado, let's get into the renown system in Diablo 4. The the renown system is a feature that tracks your reputation within each major zone in Diablo 4. There are five zones in the game, Skorsglen, the Fractured Peaks, the Dry Steps, Harzar and Kajistan. Each zone has its own renown counter that shows your progress and rewards. You can access the renown menu by pressing uh, the touchpad on the PlayStation or the view button on Xbox or simply open the map if you're playing on PC and hover over the zone that you're in or that you add. The renown system has five stages of rewards that you can unlock by collecting renown points. Some of the rewards are account-wide, meaning they apply to all your characters, while others are character-specific, meaning they only apply to the character you're playing. The account-wide rewards include skill points, potion charges, murmuring oboys or just oboys capacity increases, um, and paragon points. The character-specific rewards include bonus experience and gold. To unlock the first three stages of rewards, you need to collect enough renown points in each zone. And to unlock the last two stages, you also need to unlock the third world tier, which is a difficulty level that increases the challenge and loot quality of the game. So how do you collect renown points? Well, there are six ways to do that. Activating waypoints. Waypoints are fast travel points that allow you to move between different regions regions or settlements. You have to manually interact with them when you find them. You just basically have to walk to it. And each waypoint gives you 20 renown points. Completing strongholds. Strongholds are large dungeon-like areas that have multiple levels and bosses. They are marked on the map with a red skull icon. Each stronghold gives you 100 renown points. Completing side quests. Side quests are optional missions that you can find by talking to NPCs or exploring the world. They are marked on the map with an exclamation mark icon and they are not necessary but each side quest gives you 20 renown points. Discovering areas. Areas are sub zones within each zone that have their own name and theme. You can discover them by simply entering them for the first time. You can also see which areas are not unlocked yet by opening the map and if it's still sort of blurry or foggy or like simply not visible then the zone is not discovered yet. Each area that you uncover gives you five renown points. Completing side dungeons. Side dungeons are smaller dungeons that have uh, one level and one boss. They are marked on the map with a door icon and each uh, side dungeon gives you 30 renown points. Finding Altars of Lilith. Altars of Lilith are hidden shrines that uh, give your character a buff and that are hidden throughout Sanctuary. If you find them and you click on them, they look like statues of Lilith, each altar of Lilith will give you 10 renown points. Here are some tips and tricks to help you earn renown points faster and easier. Okay, first, focus on completing stages 1 to 4 early as they are quick and grant a lot of extra power. Find the route that combines as many objectives as possible. That means complete dungeons that award aspects for the Codex of Power, that help boost your character's power, clear the three stronghold in each zone, find short side quests and complete them, or if you enter a dungeon for a side quest objective, complete it to gain the additional points and collect all altars of Lilith. Do not enter cellars as they do not grant any points. Unless you're really a big fan of them, you can simply just move on. And also events do not contribute to renown. So if you're simply farming renown, you can skip them. Okay, and uh, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this guide on uh, the renown system in Diablo 4. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. Also, let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions or suggestions for Diablo 4 videos or Diablo content that you would like to see. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye!